Lisa and welcome to my small thoughts channel. Why small thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that may come along and they often do, don't they? So welcome, welcome, welcome to my small thoughts channel, my small thoughts room, my puzzle corner, a spot in my house I like to come and have small thoughts mostly while doing puzzles. So welcome new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies, bienvenue to all my puzzle friends. Um, and if you're not as passionate about puzzles as I am, that's okay. You're welcome to sit down and be a puzzle observer. So first off, I'm going to grab a drink and a sip of hot apple cider. Before we start, you're more than welcome to grab your drink of choice no judgment but I will have my apple cider while we talk about puzzles for a starry starry night. I'm going to do a little collection of videos that revolve around skylines, the stars, um, astrology and our beautiful night sky. So first off a sip of my cider, hang on. Mm, that's good. It's more, um, hang on. It is good. It's more of a tepid apple cider rather than hot, but delicious nonetheless. So right off the bat, I was just going to show you a couple of new things that I got this week that I was excited about. One not puzzle related, but I love it. This came from my very, very favorite puzzle buddy who made this with much love and talent and skill. The little felted a little felted puzzle buddy. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I think it's a little gnome, but I absolutely love it. Thank you, puzzle buddy. I treasure it. I'm going to put it on my small thought shelf over here where I can see it whenever I like. And then what was the other thing? Oh, I got finally after waiting several weeks, I waited about six weeks for a new puzzle board to come from Bits and Pieces. It's an extra large puzzle board. It's um, 26 by 36 and it's covered in this beautiful blue velvety velour fabric that feels so nice to touch and it just kind of grips the, the puzzle pieces in the perfect way. It does a, a 1000 piece and less perfectly, 1500 comfortably. Won't do a 2000 but I love the size for my white mountain puzzles. Um, so it arrived and it's got a nice little lip all around it, also covered in fabric that stops the, the puzzle pieces from flying around or <laughs> sliding off. And then on top of that, it comes with a kind of felt piece that you roll up and over when you put it away to keep it out of unwanted puzzle helpers in the form of toddlers or pets. So that's that and I haven't had a chance to use it but I'm really really excited. I'm going to start a puzzle that I'm waiting to do for a while this week and I'll let you know what I think of it. I want to know what um, other people use for their puzzle boards and tables because it's really hard just to find the right one, the right angle, the right size. Will it do portrait? Will it do landscape? It's, it's harder than people might think. So let me know if you've got the perfect puzzle board. I'd love to hear. So let's move on with our Starry Nights puzzle series, puzzle collection that I've put together from some of my uh, puzzle shelves. I uh, hope it's a nice selection that have to do with astrology, skyline, and our night skies. So very first I'm going to start off with a bite-sized snack. It's a 300 piece puzzle from Buffalo Games and you can see why I chose that. This is called Astrology Mountain? Zodiac Mountain. Zodiac Mountain. It's got that beautiful deep blue sky with the northern lights and the constellations with their, their zodiac signs. You can see Libra. Where's Libra? Libra there. Gemini. I thought that might be, that's Pisces. See Pisces, Aquarius. And then you can see the constellations there. And then some added stuff that I love. Um, you've got the Rocky Mountains. So clearly Canada. Because if we didn't know by that um, by that night sky in the Aurora Borealis. And then we've got the hiker. Some beautiful fir trees. And the lake. The still lake. And then if you look at the little detail. It's so cute. You might miss it. 
is a little tent and then some other neighbors nearby with the smoke coming off their cozy fires as well. So a beautiful little gem of a puzzle that I got and did while camping. A perfect size. I don't normally do 300, but a terrific, amazing size if you're traveling, doing it while camping or an RV, which I know a lot of people do while puzzling. This is a great, uh, great, great puzzle. I love Buffalo Games. Um, because they have an incredible variety and also oops <laughs> don't tell my puzzle buddy <laughs> they also come with a uh, poster yeah. which is great you don't have to worry about the box flipping around and flying everywhere i don't know am i the only person that gets annoyed by the box so this is uh 300 which means if you see a size a puzzle that says 300 right away almost off the bat 275 or 300 pieces will be these extra large easy handling sizes so they're a little bit easier to grip for people who have a tougher time with maybe older hands or younger hands and buffalo is a, is a good quality a great value the pieces are a little bit shiny um decent snap great fit and kind of a randomy cut on some of them so <laughs> no false alarm all in all a great little puzzle to do and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and highly recommend that one next I've got a puzzle from another one of my favorite puzzle makers is Gibson games and this is written in the stars and indeed it is so we've got the wonderful astrological chart in beautiful beautiful colors it looks like it's done in ink and then watercolors on top of it. Beautiful. Who's the artist? I don't know if they put that here. I meant to check. I don't think they... Oh, Amanda Hiller. Great job. So lovely um, image. It's not a square. Let me see if I've got the poster here. It's not a square. It's actually a little rectangle. Um, and it's a bit deceptive because the poster... You know, I'm just going to see if I've got the poster in here or not. Hang on. No, um, the poster is a great little size to, to, to use. Again, 500 pieces, more of a grid shape. The size of it's in centimeters and I won't be able to convert it, I guarantee you. It's 48 by 34 centimeters. Nice pocket size, like, like nice little size. And also features the astrological signs, Aquarius right here in the beautiful inks. Almost could be a marker. I think it's watercolor, but it could be a colored marker. Scorpio, Libra here. We don't have the constellations here, but what we do have is a lot of beautiful botanicals with the greens and the pinks and the lush things you can see on the side. There's a bit more to the puzzle than just that chart. And then I can tell you that these reds and vibrant fuchsia pinks and magentas just pop off the plate at the page of the pop off the puzzle with the deep 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 blue night sky it's not quite black it's a very deep blue black to purple gorgeous gorgeous puzzle from gibson games in our starry night written on the stars theme so i hope you like that one i love that puzzle i did that uh three or four months ago and i loved it the next one i'm not sure if i've talked about this puzzle before on small thoughts channel but this is from ebu ebu is all the rage an incredibly popular puzzle company that's just exploded really in the last uh really exploded in the last 18 months fantastic company coming out of new york and this artist is actually i believe she's american but living in in holland in amsterdam anise maluk i want to say yeah anise maluk and this features this is the puzzle is called astrology <laughs> so indeed it is and it's a thousand pieces which is a, a bigger size and this is a square ebu does a lot of circle uh, puzzles this is a square and i'll just double check that 23 by 23 inches so a decent size and super colorful great quality the box does not do the justice to the the actual puzzle pieces itself when you're looking at the puzzle and it's done Again, the saturation, the hues, the vibrancy in the inks is stunning. Top-notch quality, good puzzle snap. Um, some false fits, but a very good puzzle snap. And you can see this is chock full of all kinds of fun things if you're into astrological signs or, or um, reading the stars and that kind of thing. So here we have our Gemini, the two birds. And this one we had the, the, two, the two fish, the two brothers 
Gemini. No, it was two women. The other one went poor. But this is Gemini. Two brothers, the twins, trying to find the wisdom. So what do they call that? Oh, seeker of knowledge, finding the gray between the black and the white. Gemini, we've got Libra again, the scales, balance, peacemaker. And then we've got the constellation here. And an added bonus is the little birthstone. So that's an opal. Like it tells you the birthstones, but you can guess what they are. And then um, Aquarius up here. Beautiful. My favorite sign is Aquarius because it has two elements to it. It has the earth sign. Sorry, that's not true. <laughs> I got distracted by the ding dong in the back. It's got the sky, the sky, it, and the air sign. So air of the sky and then the water sign down below. So we've got wisdom and knowledge above and intuition and subconscious down below from the water. Beautiful sign. So that is Ibu's astrology and wonderful quality it makes a great gift for all ages anyone would love to do this puzzle um, if you whether you're an art lover or geometric level lover or, or pattern person you'll find a lot to love about this amazing puzzle from ibu in our astrology written in the scars theme i feel like i should have went, worn uh i don't know something a little bit spookier okay so i've got um, another puzzle to go and I'm just going to go grab it. Oh, it's a Ravensburger. I wonder if there's other puzzles people have that are kind of astrology inspired or star inspired. I'd love to hear. You can let me know by contacting me on Instagram at smaller underscore thoughts on right here on YouTube in the comments. I happily will reply back and I often, often look at the comments and reply back. Or you can pop by my website at smallthoughts.ca and leave comments there too. I have a little bit more in-depth information about some of the puzzles I show in my videos sometimes. So this last one is from Ravensburger and Ravensburger isn't this beautiful. This is called <laughs> Northern Lights. And indeed, it is the beautiful Northern Lights are Aurora Borealis, which of course are the best to see in Canada. You have to be very up north, pretty far up north from where I am, in Mepa Manitoulin Island, Yukon, Yukon area, and Yellowknife, you can see it. And the best time to see the Northern Lights is around now. You'd see them... Uh, Winter war you can see them any time of the year, but in the in the winter months, December, January, into February is a great time of year, and they take place because of some magnetic charges that go on in the air. But they are absolutely beautiful. I have not been so lucky to see them as I mentioned before. I may have seen them when I was young as a flash, but I, I'm a little bit too you've a little bit too far south to see them, and I'd love to see them one day. I I'd like to know if have you seen the northern lights and I'd like to know what you thought of them are they as beautiful as they seem in their photographs in the movies i know sometimes when you see things in person you just can't capture that in a, in a photograph or film so this is a series from ravensburger that they've come out with and kind of a cozy series i guess they've got a shed and greenhouse and things and a, a, a beautiful lofts and beach scenes and it's an easy to see and handle so their piece formats a little bit bigger similar to that 300 size great easy handling and if you do puzzles of course we know Ravensburger if you new new to puzzles Ravensburger is like the Rolls Royce of puzzles they're a wonderful brand they've been around a long time the puzzle quality is amazing you will not be disappointed they put a lot of time and effort into the uh, to their artwork and the puzzle snap is perfect really great tactile experience if you like puzzles and if you're new to puzzles, this is the puzzle to start with. And then you can sort of measure from there. And if you are new to puzzles, please don't start with a thousand piece. Even a 500 might be too much. Maybe start with a 300, but definitely no bigger than a 500. Because you want to get, you don't want to get uh, overwhelmed like me by doing something crazy and doing a 2000 piece puzzle um, after not puzzling for a while. Okay, so then here we've got a beautiful northern scene. Rocky Mountains, the Still Lake, and a little cottage off in the background. You can see it, the smoke coming up, a sled, skis. I think when you're born here, you're born with a pair of skis, sweater, 
little teeny tiny cute squirrel a beautiful warm outdoor oh my goodness i love to have that outdoor hearth patio with oh fondue <laughs> i don't know why the fondue makes me laugh i just I like that they all the little funny details they would they put in you wouldn't think of so they've got the fondue with some different kinds of little breads and, and things to put in your melted fondue and oh of course see i knew for a reason look what they're drinking look what they're drinking and they're two because i can see two i believe it is hot apple cider although i suspect their hot apple cider is a little harder than mine my my cider is definitely soft <laughs> and then we've got some beautiful slippers nearby to be warm and toasty when you come out of the hot tub and some towels in the basket and of course the requisite sleeping dog this time it's the world's best dog the husky and he's having a nice sleep by the warmth of the fire and it looks like our little cozy dwellers have retreated for the evening and gone inside where you see the sled and the sliding door in the home inside so beautiful beautiful puzzle absolutely gorgeous probably one of my top 10 puzzles that i've ever done highly recommend it and i hope you get a chance to take to do this and if you haven't let me know if you've done a ravensburger what you think of it so <clears throat> that's the end of our starry astrological nights um, puzzle collection video thank you for stopping by i appreciate you taking the time um, i want to say thank you to my dad for the ending theme song and again my name is lisa and until next time i'm wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts. Bye-bye for now.